Hello everyone. This is uh, just going to be in addition to Thinking is Dangerous. And I'm going to actually play a song in this video in the background. And hope it doesn't over ride my words. So there might be some adjusting in this. But I think it's appropriate that I be playing this song. And YouTube cannot say anything about it because it is a public domain song. I have the certification on my computer that claims that. So they cannot turn around and say, oh, we've got to pull this video because of copyright infringement. There's no copyright on this. It's public domain. They're going to take me away. Ha ha he ho. All right. Now, I don't know how many of you are old enough to remember this song. See, other people add music to their videos. Yeah, I got a good sound system on here. This is Napoleon the 14th in Roman numerals. The name of the song is They're Going to Take Me Away. Anyway, enough of that. You get the idea. To go back to the topics I was talking about on thinking is dangerous. All right. Now, with the banks getting all of this titles back and not extending credit, that's the privatization of land right there that I was talking about. Uh, enough said about the legislation on the water. You, I mean, you can look that up under the new uh, environmental safety laws that are being put into place. It's it's right there. And I can't say that we have the even the opportunity of seeking redress from our government because our government is not the true rulers anymore. And they haven't been for quite some time. So I will go on record as stating, as I had before, about the national debt. It is not a legally binding contract because there is not a mutual meeting of the minds. If they want to turn around and say, you're not a party to the Constitution nor the Bill of Rights because you weren't there when it was signed and your signature isn't on it, then equally, the debt does not apply either. So, they want to play a little... I can't use that term. If they want to play little mind games, uh, hey, just turn it right back around, right? So we see people fleeing Iceland. Well, that's because the Bank of England and the loan to Iceland, which is not that amount, uh, significant of an amount, but people are fleeing Iceland. Uh, grandparents are grabbing their children who are in their 40s. Uh, I, I listened to a Bob Chapman broadcast on this and I confirmed it from independent news. Then we have all the other countries that are folding. On the basis that all of their wealth was blatantly stolen from them under the mo most audacious method possible that they can turn around and say no we're giving you equal value for your money well you know you've never given us equal value for our money your money is just a figment of your imagination that you fostered off onto us of the world for you to enable you to do your dirty little deeds so you can turn around and say well, well now we truly are the rulers of the world us the elite 
who know best out of the words of Rockefeller's own mouth. Surely, de uh, determination by the elite is preferable to that of self-determination because we don't know good enough for ourselves. So we see it actually being implemented. And of the billions spent under Obama's plan to look for redress and solutions to those with risky mortgages and or non-fixed rate mortgages, billions have been spent. 230,000 people have actually been the only ones that have benefited from that. 230,000 people? That's obscene. What do you people do for your money besides make mis life miserable for other people? Do you actually do anything constructive? Do you contribute? I'm sorry, Nikita. I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay, girl. So, uh, Yes, it's okay. Yes, it's okay. I'll be all right. <sighs> There's no cure for my disease. As it's not something that's in me, it's something that's outside of me. It is not of me, nor do I contribute to it. I don't know, people. You know, I, I I started Changes Solutions for actually two reasons. One isn't just to help the people who need help in a desperate way, which I don't know if we're going to have time now to get those resources out to people because those resources might not be there by the time they get the information. That's how dire I'm starting to see things are becoming. So now we have also in the news about Bernanke and uh, the interest rates and how inflation is going to be hitting us that nobody has wanted to acknowledge that I've been stating in my uh, videos. Well, actually, there have been some people. Salenti, that uh, guy, gentleman there, uh, he's been right on about it. Uh, just as far as, see, when people come out and they say cause and effect, we can expect this effect because of this cause, this action. And when it doesn't come true on the proposed date, not set in concrete, but just hypothetically proposed when it could happen at its earliest, people say, oh, dismiss it. The guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Nobody else does either. Because it didn't happen soon enough for us to give it validity. I think the time for paranoia is here. I really do hope somebody from my first video where I made complete sense from point to point that somebody can find fault. Somebody can say, no, here's the bill that you're talking about, but you just misunderstood it. <sighs> Not a good day for me. Um, but like I said, I, this, this all hit home like a ton of bricks last night when I saw that garbage about them not wanting to help out those who helped them out. And that's ultimately what it all gets down to here as far as our experience of life is molded. And it is by our separation or our connections. So are we going to be there for our brother or our sister? without profit as a motive or an agenda? Can change is solutions? Teach people how to start acting as a group and thinking of the good of the whole instead of the few or the one? 